Hey, I've got some questions about the crafting system. I saw some people on NeoGAF uh, asking about this. The crafting system in this is actually pretty cool. Uh, it makes way more sense than most other JRPGs where, <laughs> and you know, obviously in this game you're stranded on a crazy, like, mysterious island, so it doesn't really make sense to get the, you know, currency and stuff from the monsters. So you actually just have a bunch of materials. I think here's a bunch of them. So instead of gold or gems or any kind of normal currency, you just have regular materials. Now this NPC will upgrade certain materials to their higher grade. She also has rare items. You'll need a lot of these rare items either from the monsters or you can get them from here uh, to craft most of the good stuff. Like here's one that's uh, just on sale right now. These items are used for affinity. Uh, you give them to the, the respective character and their affinity goes up. And apparently you need that for the true ending or something. I'm still not quite at the end of the game yet, so I can't really comment on that too much. Let's see, here's an item that doubles the SP cost but gives you 2.5 times damage. So she'll have a bunch of stuff pretty regularly. Now if you have rainbow jewels, you can actually use these for trades as well. So this guy has uh, he has accessories that you can craft. Pretty much the same deal here. You see all the materials on the side. So some of this stuff is actually pretty good. So it's good to check back uh, as much as you can and craft what you want. Same deal here. Uh, this is the doctor NPC. He crafts medicine both for status ailments and for healing and reviving. He also has one for the extra gauge, so it's pretty useful to pop one of those before you fight a boss if you don't have it charged already. Pretty standard fare since E7. As soon as you stun the boss, you pop your extra right before they snap out of the stun. So this blacksmith, she crafts a bunch of items and you can upgrade them as well. Like here's one I can upgrade at all sword. She also has equipment. Uh, when you bring her more fuel stones, her inventory expands. Like here's one that gives 142 def and 13 strength. That's pretty much the best thing that I can get right now. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that on Adol. So I lose 100 HP, but the rest of the stats are pretty good. And finally, there's the tailor. Uh, Cutscene. Well, anyway, this character, uh, when she feels better, I guess, uh, she will craft a bunch of accessories as well. And this is kind of the annoying thing about this game is that sometimes you just get stuck <laughs> cutscenes. Alright, so I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> sometimes the cutscenes in this go on for a really long time. So the gathering process is similar to the last two East games, so if you played anything since E7, you'll be pretty familiar. But there's harvest points all over the map. You just hit them with your weapon and you get drops. Pretty standard fare. 
Like, here's a tree. There's some... These actually uh, are pretty useful because they're nice little mini heals. Ah, here it is. So when you're in a dungeon, uh, these items are pretty useful because in a dungeon you can't auto-regen. This game has uh, regeneration for your HP when you're on the field, but when you're in a dungeon you don't get that. But here there's an accessory later on that allows you to do that, but for the majority of the game you can't heal just by standing still in a dungeon, so it is nice to collect these. There's a bunch of materials there, so you, at that point, whenever you want, you just push left on the D-pad and just push start to go back to the village, and you can craft things that way. That's pretty much the gist of how it works. I wanted to get this out. I know people have asked about it. Uh, I find the system pretty fun. Uh, it definitely rewards like fighting monsters instead of running away from them, uh, finding the harvest points and stuff like that, because you'll always have an ample amount of material. Sometimes you can even clear quests like before you even get them, like by the time they appear on the bulletin board you already have the material. So the exploration is definitely uh, really well done in this game. You're always rewarded for uh, making sure you fill out your bestiary, uh, fighting the monsters, getting all their drops, and finding the harvest points. You can really uh, give yourself the advantage in battle if you keep doing that. Anyway, that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.